Hey folks and welcome. I am Technivers. Today we're going to be going over some more of your Kira questions. If you have a question about Kira or you need to know something, make sure you leave it in the comments down below. And don't forget to reduce your Z offset on that subscribe button. Give that notification bell a good first layer squish so you can get notified when we post more of these videos. Now, we're just going to jump right into this. Today's question is how do I add that little purge line to my printer if I don't have one already? So the easiest way to see how to do this is to actually go in here and let's take a look at my settings. So we're going to go to settings, we're going to go to printer and manage printers, and we're going to go ahead and select our Ender 3 because in here the start and end G code has exactly what you need. So let's go ahead and go to machine settings. And as you can see, I've got these two boxes down here under printer. This is my start G code. This is what it's going to do before it starts printing the actual model. So I have it set to do a few things. There's also an end G code for repositioning the bed. We're not going to cover that in this video. We're just basically going to look at these lines right in here. And I will copy and paste this. I will put it in the description down below. So if you need to go ahead and grab it, just go ahead and copy and paste it out of there. Um, this works pretty well for um, any printer. It doesn't matter if your size is larger. It's basically going to go to the same coordinates on the printer, which is the front left of the bed. And that is denoted here by how far into the bed it's going and where the bed is at. So this is basically saying we're going to home all our axes and get us to 0, 0, 0, okay? Um, the next line is saying that we want to move up just a little bit, and in this case it is 2 millimeters, and that is to ensure that we're not grinding on the bed. Uh, and this is the speed at which we're moving. Okay. The next line is going to actually move to the start position for our purge line, so depending on where you want your purge line to start, this is how you're going to locate it and place it on the bed where you want it. So. Ours is starting at point 0.1, which is the very, very left edge of the bed. Okay, As the X number increases, it's going to move to the right along the bed, at least with the Cartesian machine. And Y20, that is the front and back motion of the bed. Uh, hopefully by now you know your axes, but if not, that is going to put us 20 millimeters into the bed here. Okay, So our purge line is going to start out about right here in this corner. And then... It's going to run to Y200 while staying at the same X. So it's going to create a straight line along the Y axis for 180 millimeters. And it's going to do that at a pretty decent speed. Again, this F is denoting your speed. Okay. Um, this is actually just going to move it to the start position. In the next line, you see this little E15 here. That is your extruder. That's telling it that as we move from y20 to y200 we are going to extrude so that's going to draw the first line then we're going to go ahead and we're going to move over to a slightly further x now this is not much at all it's basically going to give you one continuous line as it goes backwards and then forward okay um, and this one's starting at y200 it's going to finish at y20 the same place we started it's just a slightly to the right of the first line uh, then it's going to reset the extruder it's going to move the z-axis up a little bit once again to keep from scratching the bed and then it's going to move over to prevent the squishing of the stuff that's starting to come out of your uh, uh, hot end that's why it resets the extruder it'll pull back a little bit um, and then basically it's going to start your model so that's that's it uh, this whole thing here is pretty much run by three lines uh, but without homing your axes, it won't know where zero is, so you definitely need that line in there too. And the, the reset extruder uh, is going to get you ready to print that line. So that's basically the gist of it. As I said, I'm going to go ahead and copy all of this right now. I will paste it in the description. You can grab it down below. But if you wanted a little breakdown on what exactly each of these lines was doing, uh, I, I made sure that it was in there and commented. Anything after these semicolons is not part of the program. So it kind of gives you a little breakdown of what each thing is doing, which is very, very helpful as well. And if this video was helpful for you, as I said, make sure you reduce your Z offset on that subscribe button down below. And don't forget, I have a whole playlist of these videos. And if you have questions, I'd love to make a video for you. So leave it in the comments, but make sure you put Kira question in there somewhere. 
makes it easier to find when I'm searching through everything. That's going to be it for this one, guys. We'll see you in the next one.